In this video, we'll show you how to add a child site to the main WP dashboard. Navigate to Sites, Add New Page. First, enter the URL of the WordPress site you wish to add to the dashboard. Let's test the connection between the dashboard and the site we want to add. Anything but the green check mark means that there's an issue that needs to be addressed before continuing. Let's now install the main WP child plugin to the WordPress site we wish to add. From the WP admin of that child site, go to plugins, add new plugin page, and search for main WP. Find main WP child in the results, click install now, and then activate. Let's return to the dashboard site. Enable this toggle to confirm that the main WP child plugin is active. This will reveal additional options. Enter the administrator name of the child site you're adding. We recommend creating one specifically for this connection. The administrator password is optional, but enabled by default. It adds an extra layer of security by allowing only verified administrators to authorize the setup process. Unique Security ID is also optional, but disabled by default. Both of these options, including the Unique Security ID value, can be found on the main WP Child Plugin settings page. As you can see, the password requirement is enabled by default, while the Security ID requirement is disabled. Another option of note in the child settings is the connection timeout. You can define for how long the plugin will remain active if no connection is established. After this period, the plugin will automatically deactivate for security purposes. Let's leave these settings at their defaults and return to the main WP dashboard. We'll enter the administrator password since we've left that requirement enabled on the child site. It's important to note that your password is never stored by your dashboard and never sent to mainwp.com. It is used only to establish the initial connection. After that, your main WP dashboard generates a secure public and private key pair, allowing future connections without needing your password again. For added security, you can even change this admin password once connected. Just be sure not to delete the admin account as this would disrupt the connection. The site title will be automatically populated using the URL of the child site, but feel free to enter your desired title. All other fields are optional, but let's quickly go over them. Below, you can upload a custom site icon. If left empty, the site favicon will be used. Alternatively, you can select one of the many built-in icons. The uploaded site icon takes priority over the ones chosen here. You can associate the site to a tag or a client if any exist on your dashboard. Verify SSL certificate is enabled by default, but if your child site has certificate issues or you're adding a locally hosted site, disable this. SSL version should be left at default unless you're experiencing issues with auto detection and are sure of the exact version. Lastly, if your child site is protected with HTTP basic authentication, you can enter the credentials here. Finally, click the Add Site button. If everything goes well, you will be notified at the top of the page. That's it. We've just added a child site to the main WP dashboard. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like and subscribe for more updates from main WP. Don't forget to check out one of our other videos next.